good morning here the topic is uh, flow of viscous fluid between two parallel plates that means the subject is fluid mechanics and this is the topic uh, previous to this flow through a circular pipe was discussed in that case shear stress distribution across a section cross section of a pipe that was discussed then across a cross section of the pipe velocity distribution was discussed and then next to that was uh, a ratio of maximum velocity to average velocity was discussed and last of all uh hagen poisson's formula or the equation was derived means uh, loss of pressure h for a given length of the pipe was derived okay and that formula is known as hagen poisson's formula here also the same case will be discussed okay so here what is the problem here it is not circular pipe here it is flow between two parallel plates like this this is the lower plate this is the upper plate the two plates are held fixed okay they are not moving at all so two plates are fixed and between these two plates one fluid is moving the flow is steady and uniform okay there is no acceleration at all of the fluid the fluid is the flow is steady and uniform okay so to, to do that what we need to do we have to first choose the coordinate axis say these are the coordinate axis x is the horizontal axis y is the vertical axis and through the horizontal axis x the lower plate passes or the lower plate is held along the x axis okay and this is the upper plate okay upper plate this is also held fixed this is not moving at all and the distance of separation between the two plates this is the distance of separation between the two plates is denoted by small t here t is not time it is the distance of separation between the two plates okay so this is the y axis the vertical one the horizontal one is the x axis and here let us choose one rectangular fluid element like this okay this is what a rectangular fluid element okay say name of the fluid element is given like this a b c d okay this is the rectangular fluid element and this fluid element the lower part the bc this is is at a distance of y from the x axis okay and this this is how much this is delta y right means the length cd or the length ab both are same and they are is, is uh, equal to delta y and the length bc this one this is how much this is delta x okay and this is at a distance uh say uh, here pressure force is p and it is at a distance of x from the means the edge ab this is at a distance of x from the y axis the edge bc this is at a distance of y from the x axis and the dimensions are delta x this one and delta y this one okay this is the pressure phase uh press uh, pressure acting on the face ab okay uh, of course direction of flow i have not shown you the direction of flow direction of flow is from left to right this is the direction of flow of fluid okay and uh, now uh, what is the pressure at the opposite face cd this is the opposite force cd uh, opposite uh, face cd what is the pressure here pressure will be since this is at a distance of delta x so here pressure will be p plus del p del x into delta x this much is the pressure at the opposite face since direction of flow is this so shear stress will be acting in this direction say this shear stress is denoted by tau okay then what will the shear stress in this direction here 
it is at a distance of delta y. So of course here it will be tau plus rate of change of shear stress with respect to y. Okay, this direction is y multiplied by delta y. So this is the shear stress acting on the face AD. Here we are assuming here the thickness or the width, width of the fluid element in the direction perpendicular to the direction of the boat is unity, that is one. Okay. Then what are the forces acting on the fluid element while it is in motion? Force due to this pressure, force due to this pressure, force due to this air stress, force due to this air stress. Okay. So these are the four forces acting all together on the fluid element while the fluid element is in motion. Already I have mentioned you that the flow is steady and, and uniform. There is no acceleration at all. So, in the direction of the flow, that is along the x direction, the summation of the forces must be zero. Summation means algebraic summation of the forces. Whenever we say algebraic summation, that means we have to consider the sign also, whether it is positive or negative. If it is in the direction of positive x-axis, then the forces will be taken as positive. And if it is, and if the forces are in the uh, direction of negative x-axis, then in that case, the forces will be considered as negative. And that's why the term algebraic, this adjective is used. Algebraic summation of the forces must be zero, since there is no acceleration at all. So here, uh, thickness, uh, width is how much? Unity. So what is the area of the face AB? It is nothing but this distance, delta y multiplied by 1. So force is how much? P into delta y into 1. Right? In this direction. In the opposite direction, minus this quantity P plus del P del x into delta x into area remains same. It is delta y into 1. Delta y into 1. Then this force, this is also negative in this direction. Okay. So minus tau into what should be the area? Delta x multiplied by 1. So delta x multiplied by 1 and force due to this air stress with a positive sign, positive sign. So tau plus del tau del y into delta y into area will be delta x into 1. Let me check whether the lowermost part is visible or not. Uh, yeah, it is visible. It is clearly visible. Okay. So this is the summation of the forces and this must be equal to zero, right? Now, after some manipulation, you will get what? This P delta Y, this P delta Y, they are cancelled. Remaining part is minus del P del X into delta X delta Y. So I am writing somewhere here. Del P del X into delta X, uh, sorry, delta Y I have written first. There is no problem at all whether you write delta x in the first position or delta y in the first position, there is no problem. Okay. And then again here, this tau delta x, this tau delta x are cancelled. So remaining thing is what? Plus, plus delta del y into delta y delta x. This is equal to zero. Okay. Now you know that delta x and delta y, they are not zero, so you can easily divide both sides of the equation by delta x into delta y, and the resulting equation will be what? Resulting equation will be um, del p del x. Here yeah, negative sign is there, yeah, positive sign is there, therefore del p del x is equal to delta del y, right? So this thing we have got. Using this, you can easily draw the shear stress distribution. Okay, del B del X is equal to delta del Y. Next, what we need to do uh, to get the velocity distribution, we have to replace this tau, that is the shear stress, by using the formula of Newton's law of viscosity. So, what is Newton's law of viscosity? In Newton's law of viscosity, you have seen that the shear stress tau, red color is visible. Ah, yeah, it is visible. The color red is also visible here, okay? Mm. 
Actually, I need to check every now and then whether everything is visible or not. Otherwise, my video uh, recording will go in west. Will go west. Okay. So um, this here space, this is what this is. Uh, this is what this is mu into du dy. Right. This is known to you. Mu into du dy. So here in this equation, you just replace. Uh, that tau by mu into du dy. So we are going to do the same thing here. Del p del x is equal to del del y of mu du dy. Uh, sorry, du dy. This is d, okay? Du dy. So what is the result? It becomes mu into del square u del y. So let me. Uh, Erase this part, otherwise it will, it will not be possible to complete the derivation. Okay. Size of the board is so small. Okay. The next line. So what is the next line? Next line is uh, del p del x. So del p del x. Okay. Since uh, the plot was wet, so there is some problem in writing. Del P del X, right? Del P del X is equal to mu mu del square u del y square. Just a minute. Uh, I need to take help of this uh, dry cloth, otherwise it would it wouldn't be possible to write over here. Okay. Now it is possible. Right. So, del p del x is equal to mu del square u del y square. Okay, sorry for the interruption. Okay. Uh, del p del x is equal to mu del square u del y square. So, uh, our target is to get the velocity distribution. So, it's better to write this way del square u del y square is equal to 1 by mu del p del x. Okay, now integrate both sides of this. Okay. If you integrate, so in the right uh, left hand side you will get del u del y and here what you will get, you will get 1 by mu, 1 by mu del p del x into y plus a constant of integration c. Just on integration you will get this one. Okay. Again you have to integrate to get the value of y, uh, value of u. So in the next step you are getting what? u is equal to so y square by 2 will be there. So you will get 1 by 2 mu del p del x into y square. Here you will get c1y and here you will get a new constant of integration denoted by c2. So you can see that there are two constants c1 and c2. So to get the velocity distribution you need to know the values of c1 and c2 both. Okay. So just by using the boundary conditions, you can evaluate easily value of C1, C2. Uh, using the no-slip boundary condition, you know that at the surface of the at the surface of the plate, the velocity must be zero. So when y was equal to zero, conditions are two. Number one, when y was zero, the vertical direction, okay, u was zero. Again, condition number two. When y was equal to t, t was what? The distance between the two fixed plates. When y is equal to t, then also u is equal to 0. So first, we are using the first condition. y is equal to 0, u is equal to 0. Using that condition, what we are getting here? Just put the values. Here 0, here also 0 and then c2. Therefore, c2 is equal to 0. So what we have got here? C2 is equal to 0. Right. 
now after getting that value of c2 is equal to 0 what we are getting actually we are getting that u is equal to therefore u is equal to uh, this 1 by 2 mu 1 by 2 mu del p del x del p del x y square y square plus c1 y okay c1 y c2 is c2 will not be there because c2 is equal to 0 now we are going to use the second condition y is equal to t and u is equal to 0 that condition so here you write u is equal to what 0 here 1 by 2 mu del p del x into y will be replaced by t t square and here c1 into t so what is the value of c1 here therefore from here we are getting c1 is equal to minus 1 by 2 mu del p del x into t right minus 1 by 2 mu del p del x into t therefore what is u just by using this you can write 1 by 2 mu del p del x right del p del x y square and c1 into y so c1 is how much c1 is this much so minus 1 by 2 mu del p del x into ty okay so this thing we have got and this can be written as minus 1 by 2 mu del p del x into ty minus y square this is what this is u this is u okay this is u so this is the velocity distribution okay again i need to check okay everything is visible so this is velocity distribution okay and uh, if you want to draw the graph of this and you can see that here also u is a function of y square okay y square is there that means it is an equation of a parabola so velocity distribution is parabolic so you can show this way you can show this way uh, these are the fixed plates okay these are the fixed plates okay so uh, uh, for a cross section for a cross section say this is the cross section so here uh, the velocity distribution say this is the midline okay midline so with respect to this midline here again this will be the this will be what this will be uh, CR space distribution this will be CR space distribution like this okay and here like this okay this distance is how much this distance is nothing but t by 2 right and this is also t by 2 okay at the mid at the middle of the at the midpoint of the two plates the CR stress will be 0 and at the surface of the wall means fixed plate the CR stress will be maximum you can see this value from here to here and to draw the velocity distribution it is again parabolic so at the mid you will get the maximum velocity this is velocity distribution and the other arrows will be like this so you can see that at the surface of the wall velocity is 0 here 0 here it is 0 and as you are going to the midpoint of the fixed plates okay middle of the fixed plates the velocity is going on increasing and at the at just midpoint here it is maximum so this value is u max so u max how will you get just you put just keep it y is equal to t by 2 here okay in the next video i will discuss all those things so here i have shown you the cl stress distribution as well as the velocity distribution in the next video i will show you ratio of velocity distribution uh, yes ratio of maximum velocity to average velocity and also for a given length suppose from here to here for a given length the 
loss of pressure head that that thing also will be discussed in the next video okay okay so this is the end of the video thank you thank you for watching this video have a beautiful day to all of you